Mackey and welcome to Anime Makeup, a series on my channel where I talk about an anime that I like or just want to talk about in general while I do my makeup. Last time we talked about Oron High School Hopes Club, one of my favorite animes and also one of my gateway animes. This time we're going to be talking about Amagi Brilliant Park and in my last episode I said my hint for this week's episode was something that's happening towards the end of the month. It was at Disneyland's opening up. This was a bad hint. <laughs> Some of you told me it was a bad hint. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna try and be better and like more obvious and less cryptic and weird with my hints. I thought I thought it was a good hint. Also, I'm sorry for the lack of time in between these episodes. I, after the first episode, took some time to kind of work around and fix some things in my personal life and my work life and just make my whole system run smoother and that took a couple weeks so I had to put this on hold for a minute because I didn't want to just rush out a bad episode. This is definitely going to be a regular series on my channel. I really like doing it. I just wanted to make sure I can make it as perfect as possible for you guys. So if you want to see how I got this pink sparkly fairy-esque look and listen to me ramble on about a Moggy Brilliant Park, go ahead and keep on watching. So I think my goal with today's look is going to be sparkly pretty pink magic. Also using the Disney palette for the Disney knockoff anime. <laughs> so like I said, today's anime that we're going to be talking about is Amagi Brilliant Park. It came out in February 2013 and I feel like I watched it when it actually came out but I genuinely don't remember. The show follows a guy named Seiya Kanye who I'm gonna talk about that later but um he is an all-around attractive popular popular? I don't think he's actually that popular because of, well, he's very, 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 very like self-centered, arrogant type, which I actually really appreciate and I thought was really funny that he's not just a generic main character who's just nice or well-meaning or whatever. He's kind of a jerk and he's very self-centered. He's definitely not like your average anime character, which I really, really appreciated. One day he gets cornered at school by a girl named Sento and she threatens him with a gun. So that's how this anime starts out is just Sento straight up threatening <laughs> Kanye with a gun. And she basically says, hey, come on a date with me to this theme park. And he is pretty resistant at first, but, um, you know, gun. So he does go along with her. It's just completely run down. One of the first problems with it is it's right next to a love hotel. So a lot of people get off thinking they're going to the theme park. Then they, instead they go to the love hotel that also has a castle and looks exactly like a theme park. It is inhabited by these mascot characters who are clearly not <laughs> the most child friendly. Seems like they often get in fights with guests or just in general aren't even around. And after showing him all of the place's problems, she explains that the park is in danger of going out of business and unless they can attract a certain number of customers by in a certain amount of time, the place will go out of business. And he also learns, surprise, all of the all of the costume characters are indeed magical and so they're not costumes they're real they're refugees from an actual magical land and if the park closes they'll have nowhere to go and they'll either disappear or just suffer in general so after a bit of convincing he agrees to help them and I mean a bit of convincing because like I said this guy is not the nicest person in the world but he eventually agrees to help them and the whole series is basically about them fixing up the theme park and attracting as many guests as possible before the deadline comes up. First things first, this is like one of the funniest animes I have ever seen. If you like um, Konosuba, it's very similar to that style of humor. Very like wild, off the cuff, doesn't really care kind of humor. Then there's the fact that if you know me, you know I like Disney a lot and I like theme parks and stuff like that. So there's a lot of funny jokes that are there just for weirdos like me who are really into theme park nerdiness. The animation's also like gorgeous. Like I love the way everything looks in the show, but definitely the humor and characters are like where it's A plus for me personally. And honestly, I think it's super underrated because I don't ever hear anyone talk about it like ever. I watched it and I loved it. And then I ne never heard anyone talk about it or I never see any fan art of it. I only remembered it really because I saw somebody post a clip of it on TikTok. And I was like, oh my god, I used to love that show. And so I went and binged all of it and was like, oh, I just made a series where I talk about anime. I should probably watch that on there. And it's made by Kyo, Kyo Annie, which I feel like most of their stuff really does get talked about. But this is one I, again, I don't hear a lot of hype about. I was going a completely different direction with this. Like, I was going to do, like, 
a white or colored liner here. Now I think I'm just gonna do big giant black wings and like big lashes and just do full fantasy crazy. I don't know why, I'm just, I'm just feeling it. In addition to it being really, really funny, there's also quite a bit of like hidden mystery and lore going on in the background around the park's general manager, Queen Latifah, which brings me to the thing I wanted to mention at the top of this video, but I was like, I'll wait until I explain a little bit more about this series. A bunch of the characters are named after rappers, like the main human characters, are named Queen Latifah, the main character's name is Kanye, and then the girl's name is Sento, like 50 Cent. I don't know why that needed to happen. To me, it just adds to the absurdity of it, of like, why did you name these characters this? <laughs> I don't know who made me think it would be a good idea to use this cream eyeliner for this, but like, I thought since I was drawing such a big wing, it would be a good idea, but like, this is a struggle right now. Everyone who's watching this and thinking that looks horrible, why did she do that? I need y'all to trust the process. It'll still probably look horrible, but at least trust the process. But yeah, I never see anyone cosplay this show, I never see anyone really talk about it ever, except like I said, that one TikTok I saw. And that's honestly a shame because it is a really solid show and i know we're getting like a lot of really solid shows lately like like this season in anime is like absolutely stacked i'm honestly overwhelmed by it i haven't had any time to watch anything new really like i've started a couple shows been like that looks really good and been told the description of other shows and have been like that looks amazing but i have i don't know if i'm just scared i don't think no if i just because i don't have time which is why i like dubs because I, at least like i can do other things while i'm watching the show but I have not watched anything new and it's a little depressing. Okay, lashes are on and yeah, this looks this looks like what I want it to look like. But yeah, as I was saying, in addition to the general comedy, like the show isn't just funny, but it has an ongoing background story that is happening with the princess. You genuinely do start to care for these characters and you don't want anything bad to happen to them. But the main thing is honestly, this show is absolutely hilarious. Like the reason I'm dancing around telling you guys too much about the plot is exactly because I want you to go watch it and I don't want to ruin any of the jokes. With my last video, I got very specific and I did notice um, some of you saying like, hey, maybe don't say too much of the plot next time or say a spoiler alert if you're going to. This time I tried not to say too much. Everything I've been talking about is told to you in like the first episode, so you don't have to worry about too many spoilers or anything. And one of the main things that I haven't mentioned and I can't believe it took me this long to mention is this show has an absolute banger of an opening. <laughs> like this opening is definitely a member of the if you skip this opening you have no soul club. Glitter freckles. Yay. But yeah, that being said, there's not too much else I can say, I think, about this. Just that there's a lot of great jokes, especially if you're like me and are someone who's a fan of theme parks. Even if you're not, there's a ton of great jokes. Even if you're just a person who's been to a theme park once, there's a ton of great like hidden and fourth wall jokes in this. Just overall, Great watch, really solid show. Can't recommend it enough. Go watch Moggy Brilliant Park. And with that being said, that does it for this episode of Anna Makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for the lack of videos for the past week and the fact that the series just kind of got put on hold. Like I said, I had some stuff that I had to take care of, but it's all stuff that's gonna make me a better creator in general. And this series should start to be more regular on my channel starting now. Speaking of, no one guessed what anime I was gonna be talking about from last time. And as a lot of people told me when I told them what anime I was referencing, in my hint, it was a bad hint. So now I'm going to try and give a very obvious hint. <laughs> Same as last time, if you can guess the anime title I'm going to be speaking about in the next episode of Anime Makeup, then I'll give you a shout out at the beginning of next week's episode. So my hint for next week's episode is Get in the Robot. If y'all don't get that, I, I can't help you. <laughs> and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.